Erisi and I'm Eloise. And today, we don't have just one figure, we have a family of figures to review for you. A certain bat family! <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> in short, we have um, five figures to review today and it is every main member mm -hmm. of the bat family. So we have Nightwing, Red Robin, Red Hood, Batman? Batman and <laughs> just normal <Batman>. Robin. <laughs> and it's all the Kotobukiya lines. Yes. Uh, so they have a very specific look, a very specific style to all of them, which you will see when we go on to yes. reviewing Yes, I'm not really figures. sure. Oh, they're a tenth scale, one tenth scale. One tenth scale, and they're artifacts, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, Art the artifacts Kotobukiya line. So they're really detailed, re really. And uh, I like them a lot. Yeah, so we have their boxes here. They're all like this see through style. They have the logo on one side and mm -hmm. then a picture of them from the comic books on the other. So this is Batman. Yeah. We also have Nightwing's box is missing. Yeah, um, she's had him for yeah, a while. So. I'm a box hoarder, and he got lost <laughs> in the masses. I don't know where it is, but Who we can show you knows? the rest of them. Who this knows? is Red Robins, aka Tim Drake's. Yes, it's like the restaurant. We all know. We laugh about it. There's and he's also just Teen Titans. So. Yes, there's his picture on the side. He's gorgeous. This is Red Hood. My favorite. This is mine. Yes. Um, it's from the Red Hood comics, Red Hood and the Outlaws. So yeah, he's very nice. And the last box we actually have is Robin, aka the Damian Wayne Robin. There he is, the little he is brat. Small. He is small and he is angry, and we love him for it. Anyway, so we're like basically mega fans. Like I, we love the comic books. We love the Bat Family. We have our shirts. I'm representing that wing today. I'm going the video game route. I have Arkham Knight pre Red Hood. Yes. So we're excited, and we're gonna look at all these for you and see how they hold up. Yes. Aha. All right, here we have our dynamic shot of the entire Bat family. You can see Damien right there in the front, that little shit stain. <laughs> and here we've got Big Bat, Big Daddy Bats out of everyone. Yes. The favorite son. The worst son. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. So yeah, so we got them all gathered right here, and. They're beautiful. They're, I really like them. They're really, really impressive. And I like that they are to scale. Like, their heights are correct. Like, they're comic book accurate. Yeah, like, I really like that, too. Bruce is the tallest. Then it's Jason. Then it's Dicky Bird, because he's not that tall, because he's an acrobat. Then it's Tim. Then it's Damien. Little, little shrimpy Damien. I mean, he makes sense because he is just a kid. Yeah, so he's it, like 10, so. He needs to be tiny. <laughs> But all of them are very accurate to size and height, like, and they're just very well sculpted. Well, it's Kotobukiya, and I mean, they never disappoint, really. Yeah, so it is important to note that these costumes are the ones from the New 52, if you're familiar at all with DC Comics. That was kind of a certain line of comics, the kind of universe reboot that happened quite a while ago now. Like, I was kind of like six years, something like that. Five, it's been years. a while, yeah. Yeah, so those are from, those are the I mean, you know it's been a while because DC's already working on another reboot of that reboot because, well, we, yeah. won't, we won't go into detail about the new 52. <laughs> yeah, so. Or we're, what they did. Yeah, we're going into rebirth now. Whatever. It's flawed. It has lots of pros and cons, but overall their outfits are pretty swag. I mean, they look really nice in figure form. And all of them that we were mentioning before have this specific style and like painting to them where they have this really metallic, shiny, super glossy sheen to yes, them. Yes, yes. And it's like, Erisi and I were discussing this earlier and we both really enjoy how it looks on the figures. Mm -hmm. And had you mentioned that sometimes people get kind of salty oh, about yeah. them Some being metallic. Oh yeah, like this Kotobukiya line. I mean, they have, beyond the Bat film, they have other characters, like I have the Aquaman, there's also Wonder Woman and the Justice League. Um, and some people don't really like this glossy, shiny, shimmery paint, but I think it actually works. So, starting off here, we have Bruce Wayne himself, the big bats himself. Um, I think this is really nice. Like, I really especially appreciate his cape. It's really pretty and long and flowy. It looks pretty epic. I like the gold shiny paint on his belt. I also like that, you know, you could see the abs. He looks sculpty. He looks good. 
I guess my one complaint with this one that I thought was a little off, I mean, it's not really off, but this is just completely opinion things, is his pose is kind of boring. Like, he's just really standing there. Yeah, he's, like, he's not doing much. He's not, like, throwing a battering. He's not looking like he's gonna punch your face off. Like, he's Or, like, just... his cloak's not really flying out behind him, like, to be dramatic. It's yeah. just... Yeah, and compared to the other ones, there. they kind of have a little bit of, like, you know, motion in them. He's just sort of, like, hurrah. <laughs> he's just hurrah. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, that's not to say that the detail in painting is all perfectly on point. Also, it's something random thing I just forgot to mention. The bases are just plain black squares, but they are magnetic. There's yes. no annoying pegs, and these things stand very well by themselves. You don't even need the base, really. Okay, now we have moved on to Dick Grayson, a.k.a. Nightwing, as he is shown here. The OG Robin himself. And again, looking really good. I mean, the sculpt is awesome. It's got his body perfectly the shape the way it should he's got a tight ass it's like all there <laughs> <laughs> he has the signature grayson ass going on he's got the swoopy bangs which we can all appreciate um he has his what is it called the stick he fights with? oh the escrima sticks yeah he, well he's got one of them we don't know where the other one is he just didn't come with it that's kind of an odd thing about this is i'm not sure why it came with one like he really should have two like i would have preferred that they had the other one on his back still or just came as an extra piece but, I mean, that's, again, nitpicky gripe stuff. Yes. It's also, I want to complain, and this is just the thing about DC <laughs> in general that I'm fighting about. Like, this was the New 52's fault, but why is he red? Okay, Nightwing is supposed to be blue. But that's just, again, preference things. If you don't really give a shit, then it's still a really nice figure. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Actually, let's continue to our next and my favorite Bat family member is Jason Todd, a.k.a. Red Hood. Or Arkham Knight if you go through the video games, but that's only in the video games, I think, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm still relatively new to a lot of this, so excuse me if I get my <laughs> facts wrong. Um, Red Hood is my absolute favorite because he's just, he's cold-blooded, and I like that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's really cool. I like this about this a lot is his pose. Again, this is a much more dynamic, fun pose than Batman had. Yeah, definitely. Oh, but speaking of preferences that we were talking about, I am so happy that the mask included in this figure is just the regular red hood mask and not the stupid emoji mask that he gets sometimes because yes. I hate that thing. I hate when it has a mouth. <laughs> I hate that, you know, it's like the eyes can be expressive because that's a common trait in comic yes. books for a mask to have eyes that can move and be expressive because you can't read their face if they're not. Yes. But just, it, there's no mouth on this. And if there was, I honestly probably wouldn't own this figure. It's just <laughs> this normal, good. there's no weird mouth, it looks great. He looks awesome. And just as a side quick detail, I like that um, he's got his guns out and the holsters actually stayed open. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. they didn't have to do that, but they did. That is actually a really good point. It looks so, really nice. Continuing on from there, we get to Aerys' favorite. Yes, this is my favorite son. This is Tim Drake, aka Red Robin. Yo, and... <laughs> 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 or as Jason calls him, Burger Boy. It's fine. So, Tim here is, again, looking pretty awesome. This is his outfit from, again, the New 52 that he wears part of the Teen Titans. He, that's his main kind of existence, I guess, in the new series. He has his bow staff, and the bow staff actually has some, like, ribbing in it, which is really cool. It's, like, you know, sectioned off, which is just a nice little added detail. He's got his cool-ass cape that, you know... He can actually like jetpack around in, which is pretty cool. I, I don't know. I would dare say he has more detail than most of them. Yeah, his outfit is very complex with the stripes and then the little backpack thing on the back. It and he's got really more, nice. if you see on his legs here, he's got more red panels than the others. Like he's got more color variation and the extra belts and utility things going on. So, you know, he looks like he's really, he's ready to go. Yeah, he looks very detailed. And he's pointing like, fight me, bitch. Yeah, I love his pose. He's like smirking, he's pointing, he doesn't give a fuck. He's ready to fight you and your dog. Like, he's ready to go. And I love his Tim hair. Tim Drake holds nothing back. <laughs> I love his hair too, his little duck tail. At least his head's not shaved. Yes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, so about this figure. So, <laughs> this figure was actually an amazing gift that Eloise got me for Christmas, but... <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> she broke it! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Eresy! Oh my god, he's beautiful! Like, thank you Isn't so much! He's so great! I love him, he's my son. Can I see him? Of course! <laughs> Thank you.
So in a moment of pure horror, we watched as he fell and his head came completely off. It was traumatic. But thanks to the magical powers of super glue, you can't even tell. He's and like, now we're moving on to the demon spawn. Yes, this is Damian Wayne, the and true blood son. I, did, I, I called him a shit stain earlier, I know, but really... It's like, I don't hate Damien. He's not my favorite, of course, but... We don't hate Damien, but he is a shit. I mean, that's his character. That's he's, kind of the point, though. He's violent, he's annoying, but we still love him, and we forgive him because he's a little kid, and he's got daddy issues. It's exactly, fine. and, you know, he has kind of an insane mother, depending on which one you're reading. And Yeah, totally You kid. can't blame him for being the way he is sometimes. Exactly, exactly. But this figure is absolutely adorable. I think it's cute as hell. Like, I love his little, like... Pose and how he's like looking all tough and all surly. I mean, it's so Damien. They really could have picked. A oh better, yeah, like, I really enjoy outfit and better shot for him. And I love his boots. His like high combat boots. They look really great. And his little cape and the hood. Even though he has his hood down, you can see it sculpted Oops. in there. You know, because he likes wearing it up and sulking in the corner. But yeah. And overall, they're all really well made figures. I really enjoy the detail that's in them and the variety of poses, other than Batman's. <laughs> Yes. I mean, Kotobukiya has done quite a few DC figures by now. Like, you know, they did the Marvel and DC, the shoujos, but they've also done these one-tenth scales that are really unique and fun. Like, they're perfect for your shelf, you know, for any comic book fan. They're not too invasive or, like, you know, size-wise. And they're just really nice, you know. You get a pretty good value for your buck. Okay, I think that kind of wraps up this video for now. Yeah, I mean, the all of them are pretty amazing. Like, we really highly recommend them. I mean, if you're a fan of DC, the Bat Family, I mean, these are some of the premier figures that have every single member of the Bat Family, so it's really awesome. They have all of them, they're affordable, they're really nice and sculpted. Yeah, so perfect for any comic book collector. A plus, yes. Kotobukiya, as always. Yeah, they do excellent work. <laughs> they never disappoint, really. So. Yeah, so if you liked, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, oh, and yeah, we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Bye! Bye.